Hey guys, it's Travis here again. I'm a Part 107 certified FAA drone pilot, and I'm here to get you started with your first flight on the Sony Air Peak S1. Prior to your first flight, you're gonna to wanna to ensure that you're not flying in restricted airspace for SUAS operations. In addition to that, you're gonna to wanna to scope out good landing zones and takeoff zones, and even an emergency landing zone in the case that you might have some in-flight emergencies. Also, you're gonna to wanna to check out, make sure that all your batteries that you are gonna be using for your mission are fully charged, which includes your camera battery, your radio battery, and the aircraft battery. So first up with the aircraft, you're gonna to wanna to inspect the surface of the airframe looking for any hairline cracks on the motor, arms, and landing gears, or anything out of the ordinary. Next, you're gonna to wanna to inspect your propellers, making sure the airfoil is clean and there is no debris, cracks, or chips visible. Ensure that the landing gear is securely locked in place, when mounting your payload, make sure that it is securely locked in place and that there are no hanging parts that could get caught in the landing gears or other parts of the gimbal. Once you have your payload in place, verify that it's still balanced. Install the AirPeak S1 batteries firmly, making sure that the latches return to their original state and no yellow is showing. Next, install the propellers. Now, power on your payload, the remote controller, and then the AirPeak flight app. Now start your aircraft and back away to view the status lights while it starts up. You should see the lights blinking green, yellow, and red alternately, which is the aircraft's self-diagnostic running. Select Begin Flight in the AirPeak flight app. Compass calibration. The compass calibration will start. Please read the following notes and select next when you are ready. This takes about 30 seconds. Remove propellers from aircraft, do not start motor. Remove the gimbal from the aircraft. Stay away from objects or places that are likely to cause magnetic interference. Do not disconnect from the aircraft until the calibration is complete. Hold the frame arm firmly when you lift the aircraft. Hold aircraft with its back towards you. Make one full turn in five seconds. Hold aircraft one and a half meters above ground. Hold aircraft with its front facing up. Make one full turn in five seconds. Hold aircraft one and a half meters above ground. Wait while calibration results are applied. Once completed, the status light should turn to the color indicating your flight mode. Verify that you are in the correct flight mode by selecting different modes on the radio and observing the change in status on both the AirPeak flight app and the status lights on the aircraft. Verify through the AirPeak flight app that the controller strength is strong and there is not a lot of interference on neighboring channels. Select a channel with less noise if necessary. Make sure the video feed is clear without any latency by testing the gimbal controls and observing any lag. Check that all camera controls are working accordingly. Verify once again that all battery levels are full and that you are in the desired flight mode. All right, here we go, clear prop. Congratulations guys, I hope you had an awesome, safe first flight. Please check out all the other videos on the Sony Air Peak S1 to see what it has to offer. Thank you.